चलें धीरे धीरे और आहिस्ता आहिस्ता स्टार्ट करते हैं कैसे हैं आप लोग ऑल गुड सो द टाइटल फॉर द टुडे स्टॉक एंड लेक्चर इज एच सी आई टू बी सी आई वट इज एच सी आई आई जस्ट सेट ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरेक्शन एंड वट इज बी सी आई ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेयर और इंटरेक्शन मैंने अगर इंटरेक्शन हो तो बुरा होगा या अच्छा होगा डिफरेंस क्या है इंटरफेस और इंटरेक्शन में That happens. Okay, we'll get back to this. Uh, so there was a very interesting report by Microsoft uh, on HCI's future, and I read that report maybe 15 years ago or maybe 13 years ago, and I was giving a lecture in Netherlands at that time. I was a visiting uh, assistant professor of practice in a design school, and we I always used that for about three four years as a starting point. of talking about the vision of computing and vision of interaction uh, and how the next decade would look like you know and i think it's very very important when we talk about bci brain computer interface we know humne kahan se start kiya tha kahan pahunch gaye hain and that journey is very important to know because then you can only realize ke jo hum baatein karne ja rahe hain actually possible hain right so agar aap computing ki history ko dekhein uh, you know one of the important important thing is that we are living in a changing world and when we talk about changing world the changing computers changing lives and changing societies F computers as a computing mechanism and that they have an impact on our socio economic lives and then of course when individual changes they also change societies right when we talk about changing computers uh so that's how we started right that was the 1960s it was a mainframe era iska matlab kya hota it was a one computer for the whole city there was a time when there was one computer for the whole country or maybe one computer for the whole world maybe right so it was a big computer is kamre ke andar bhi wo pura nahi aata tha itna bada computer tha uski processing power aapke jo haath mein pen hai ke barabar hogi right and then we moved on and then ek 1980s mein naya era aaya right personal computers ka iska matlab kya tha ek har har ek ke paas ek apna computer ho sakta hai uske baad agla era kaun sa aaya कौन सा बट वर आर दे मल्टीपल कंप्यूटर्स आर योर फोन्स राइट सो वी हैव अ मोबिलिटी एरा यू हैव सेवरल कंप्यूटर्स एंड वन पर्सन कैन ऑफकोर्स प्रोसेस वन कंप्यूटर बट देन मोर देन वन कंप्यूटर ऑल्सो एंड देन वी हैव अ न्यू एरा दैट हैज ऑलरेडी गॉन एंड दैट्स वट दैट सेट एट दैट टाइम दो हजार बीस के बाद क्या होगा कि कंप्यूटिंग पूरे इन्वायरमेंट में आ जाएगी आप जिस जगह पे एंटर होंगे वो कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटिफाइड होगी या वो उसमें उसको प्रोवेजिव कंप्यूटिंग कहते थे उसको अबिक्ट्रस कंप्यूटिंग कहते थे वो कंप्यूटिंग जो आपकी इन्वायरमेंट का पार्ट बन जाती है इट वॉज ऑल देयर एंड देन उसके बाद द एक्सटेंशन कुड वेरी वेल बी बी सी आई ब्रेन कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस अभी हम इतनी जल्दी उस पर नहीं जा रहे उसको सिर्फ हम टच करेंगे एंड अगले लेक्चर में आई विल गो इन मोर डिटेल ऑल्सो सो दैट वॉज अबाउट चेंजिंग कंप्यूटर्स उसके बाद चेंजिंग लाइफ चेंजिंग लाइफ में अगर आप देखें we are learning differently we there is a new way of you know uh, family living a new ways of growing older and modern ways of healthcare and if you look at that this is all happening if you ask your mother and father how they were living you know abhi hum subah se shaam ye baat karte hain zamana badal gaya aur zamana badal gaya aur zamana badal gaya you know we don't know exactly kya badla because this is not a tangible transition ke pehle ye ho raha tha ab ye hona shuru ho gaya hai but we are living differently and we cannot ignore the effect of computing in general on the way we're living and if we just take one example that is social media you don't need anything else to explain how we are living differently and then its effect on everything else the way we grow older there are many many interesting uh, you know uh, research and innovation which has help us to sort of stay older and 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 stay healthy but also has a ne negative impact that's another change which is happening and there is this end of interface stability what we what we what they had talked about a computing no longer has a single interface right up 
आप तरीक़ेकार नहीं हैं कि अगर मैंने इस कंप्यूटर से इंटरेक्ट करना तो जाके मुझे माउस पे जाके नेक्स्ट क्लिक करना पड़ेगा आई कैन ऑल्सो यूज़ दिस डिवाइस एज अ इंटरफेस टू दिस कंप्यूटर राइट एंड देन आई कैन ऑल्सो डू नेक्स्ट स्लाइड एंड द कंप्यूटर वुड लिसन टू मी एंड मूव ऑन एंड आई कैन ऑल्सो थिंक एंड देन कंप्यूटर वुड मूव ऑन एंड दैट्स अ डायरेक्शन वी आर टेकिंग सो इट्स नॉट अ सिंगल मोडालिटी सिंगल स्टाइल सिंगल इंटरफेस सिंगल टाइप ऑफ 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 यू नो इंटरेक्शन वी आर हैविंग and the shifting boundary between computers and human kya insaan aur kya computer hai but how do you know ke wo insaan nahi hai ya usme kaun sa insaan ke elements hain and what do you know that you're no more a human being because there's so much you can do with the help of algorithm and the boundary is fusing because if you can decide with the help of algorithms at what point you're saying that it is my augmentation it's not me as suleiman how would you do that and then that's a sort of a more mental part but if you have a Uh, you know uh, arm which has been affected with the, with the stroke and then you have a replacement which just work works in a in a very different way there's a physical augmentation also so kab insaan hai kab nahi hai there's a lot of debate and dr nas will also talk about it hopefully when we talk about consciousness mein and the shifting boundary of computers in everyday world so computer ab koi tangible cheez nahi reh gaya aisa hi hai computer aapko har jagah milte hain you look around you interact with them and they are everywhere This thing is a beautiful computer I have. इसकी जो पावर है वो बहुत ज़्यादा है उस फोन से जो मैंने फर्स्ट टाइम खरीदा था And this is also a very nice computer, right? It is a computer. We all have, right? Or not? Is this a computer or not? Is it a wearable computer or not? What does it do? What does computer do? Does it? Takes an in input and gives you a specific output. Does it? Does it? Okay, but a computer is defined by how we program it. We didn't really program the glass. The glass was. Allah me ne banaya isko. We're utilizing the properties of the glass. No, we we are the ones who are defining the curvature yeah. that gives that yeah. property to that glass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, why not? There is something which we can use. And it does not have. It does not run the program. So, is the computer ka electric? Hona hai? No, not, no. Not Give me an example. Jo computer electric nahi hai. Battery. Oh, electric nahi hai. No, no. Battery. Battery se chalta hai. <laughs> yeah. So, so I think it's a fine, um, fine variation. Okay. The first glasses that were just basically enlarging lenses yeah. were more appropriately a machine that yeah. you do something better. Now the very sophisticated glasses that we get, um, all of you are mashallah very young and very inshallah grow older. And so you know when you when you can't focus past while you choose something. So remember that your reading glasses just yeah. met MCU. They're a very bad device because it's an eight focal length. Yeah. Now these. aggressive lenses jo ke depending on aap kahan dekh rahe ho yeah. curve karta hai now that's a computer because it's very very sophisticated aur uska curve jo hai 30 saal pehle bhi achhi tarah se nahi banaya tha yeah so but good. uske alawa for example aapne jo baat ki machine ki uh, the whole field started as hmi human machine interaction it was later on when they said ke human computer interaction kya hai agar aap human factors ki taraf dekhein the whole idea of hci did not come from computing it came from machinery आपने कैसे मशीनों को ऐसे बनाना है कि इंसान को इस्तेमाल कर सके सेफ्टी एंड सिक्योरिटी के परस्पेक्टिव से बट वो हम बाद में बात करेंगे कभी मौका मिल गया सो so, आज का लेक्चर बहुत ज़्यादा वीडियोस के ऊपर है मैंने कहा आपको इन लोगों ने बहुत न्यूरॉन्स एंड इलेक्ट्रॉन्स एंड सेल्स एंड इंसान और जानवर और पता नहीं क्या कुछ दिखाया है तो हम किसी और इदारे से आते हैं किसी और जगह से तो हम आपको ना द पॉइंट इज़ दैट आई वॉन्ट टू सर्फ शो यू आई वॉन्ट टू एक्साइट यू दैट जो भी आप पढ़ रहे हैं Uh, जो भी हम आपको पढ़ाने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं अवेंचुअली एवरी सिंगल थिंग यू हैव लर्न वुड हैव एन एप्लीकेशन इन कंप्यूटिंग वन डे और ऑलरेडी हैव एन एप्लीकेशन इन कंप्यूटिंग टुडे राइट सो वट एवर वी आर मेकिंग इन कंप्यूटिंग वट एवर वी ट्राई टू टॉक अबाउट ह्यूमन कंप्यूटर इंटरेक्शन द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ ब्रेन एंड द वे द ब्रेन प्रोसेस इन्फॉर्मेशन एंड द मोर वी नो अबाउट इट वुड बी वेरी रेलिवेंट and you don't need to be a computer scientist to know these things because it doesn't really matter if you're doing decision making as an economics if you're building computing systems or just a student of biology in all those contexts this information would be very valuable so agar aap hci mein dekhein aapke paas ek input hai ek aapke paas output hai darmiyan mein ek dabba hota hai jo cheezon ko process kar deta hai right 
So input, output, data entry, information presentation, and visualization. And then what we're talking about, the modern displays can be reactive to touch and can detect whole body movements, can be programmed to sense aspects of crowd behavior and the environment, and so on and so forth. If you go and see these things, so how are we graphical user interface, gestures, gestures, speech, multi-touch, tangible, smart fabric, mobility, context-aware computing, and I'll give you an example of each of these ideas. So that you know that it's a discipline, hai, wo, wo kaise progress hua, or why people in our field are really spending billions of dollars in understanding brain and uh, neuroscience, because we feel that that is the future. And then there are examples of human-robot interaction. There is a green computing, and there's complete life logging technologies, which I'll talk about in the next lecture. Let's talk about with one, one thing. It looks pretty good. Man, it's not as far away as you might think, thanks to Microsoft. Remember? So, no, I think this is the F Valley video. Although I, I, I had replaced that video, like a link change. Okay, I'll show you the other one later on. So, imagine Karen, this is a multi touch computing, right? You see, people are saying, in 2015, this will happen. I'm talking about, from 15 years ago, people were thinking about it. This is the vision of 2005 Oh, come on. Oh, 
So this is the life of a DJ. So look at this interaction. How did we move with this physical system to a completely digital system? Here's an example of a side-by-side -side comparison of the turntable and the touchscreen. First of all, you might notice that there is no mixer, and that's because I've combined the mixer right with each deck. Depending on what hand gesture you use, you will call upon these specific functions. You can spin the platter forward to jump forward to the song. To play the track, simply nudge the circle forward. To activate the track volume, use four fingers to slide down, or in this case, up, and turn up the song. But look at the complexity of the interaction also, right? Use one finger to tap and repair. It's cool, nice, but look at the complexity. Tap slower with one finger to slow track down, and then speed it up, tap back. In order to change your EQ settings from the mixer, use a one finger slide to change the highs or the trebles, two finger slide to change the midtones, and three to affect the lows. So this is one, another type of interaction. Let's move to another one. So you don't need any hands. Look at the precision. Look at. And this is one time. Now we we'll take an example of tangible interactions. It's a radio out of iron. <laughs> so tangible music. Aapki jo bottle se upar utarenge, uske is a light. Tap se light aari hai. What I'm trying to show here is how can you interact with computers in so many different ways. We have gone beyond this, this mouse and computer and, and keyboard. You can, you can do this touch, you can do this tangible, you can do the store-based interaction, you can use gestures, and you need to know these things because if we need to talk, think about BCI, a lot before that has already happened, right? Look at this one. This is a very cool project from MIT. And this is a tangible interaction.
So what we're doing in the physical world is being represented also in the digital world, right? And this has so many different applications. Imagine karenge apne autistic bachon ki training karni and you want to see that how are they doing in the physical world and all these interactions which they do with the physical world is also being replicated and shown in the digital world which can be saved and then can be reprogrammed when they actually move to a digital world can be very, very helpful. So this is what you are noting. Your physical objects, this water bottle, which I open, close, it works as an interface. It works as an input. So as much as I open it, something or something is going to be an input. As I open it, something else is going to be an input. So this has become a tangible interface. Again, working and interacting with a computing device. Look at this one. Ye pure ka pura, aapke bas blocks work as a tangible input. Ye bhi tangible input hai. Is mein aap brain ke jis jis area pe hath lagayenge, wo area computer mein highlight ho jayega. Primary motor cortex or marrow. Primary motor cortex, base area. Primary somatic sensory cortex, hand area. Primary somatic sensory cortex, leg area. See, you're putting your hands on it. And this is an excellent way of learning about the brain. If you've studied it in front of you, you can put your hands on it. Of course, you can use that in the 3D model, you know, on the, uh, on, on the type, uh, uh, iPad also. But Dr. Nasser just will tell you that the fun of putting your hands on it is actual tangible brain ko usko ghuma ke dekh ke that's a very different feeling that's a tangible feeling and evolutionary we have been trained because our our, our senses are pretty good there and that's one that's another interaction and then i move towards an extremely important area which is going to play a fundamental role in uh, in, in the innovation we do in wearable is wearable computing in bci sorry it all started in this way pehle bahut arsa pehle जब ये आना स्टार्ट हुआ तो इसका मकसद ये था कि आपके पास एक छोटा सा डिस्प्ले होगा ग्लास टाइप का और आप उसमें चीज़ें देख सकते हैं इट वॉज अ फर्स्ट इनिशियल आइडिया ऑफ अ वेरेबल कंप्यूटर समथिंग लाइक दैट एंड देन उसके बाद ये चीज़ें आना शुरू हुई एंड देन वी हैड दिस Yeah, pretty decent. Keeps you connected. Runs on its own. Easy to integrate. Easy to manage. Engineered for your needs. Designed for your workflows. Go forth with all in one. And now take another example. Very different example. That's from MIT also. communicate to my cell phone in my pocket, which acts as the uh, communication and computation device. And in the video here, we see my student, Kanaf Mistry, who's really the genius who's been implementing and designing this whole system. It's 15 years ago. See how this system lets Sixth you sense. walk up to any surface. We were together in a conference when we presented this work. To interact with the information that is projected in front of him. The system tracks the four significant fingers. In this case, he's wearing simple marker caps, and then you may recognize. But if you want a more stylish version, uh, you could also paint your nails in different colors. 
and uh, the camera basically tracks these four fingers and recognizes any gestures that he's making. So he can just go to, uh, for example, a map of Long Beach, zoom in and out, etc. The system also recognizes iconic gestures, such as the take a picture gesture, and then takes a picture of whatever is in front of you. And when he then walks back to the media lab, he can just go up to any wall and project all the pictures that he's taken, sort through them and organize them and resize them, etc. Again, using all natural uh, gestures. So some of you most likely were here two years, including your um, table. And yes, you also interact using natural gestures, both hands, etc. But the difference here is that you can use any surface. You can walk up to any surface, including your hand, if nothing else is available, <laughs> and interact with this projected data. The device is completely portable and can be... <laughs> so, there was another, yeah. up here going into the supermarket and he's uh, shopping for some paper towels and as he picks up a product the system can recognize the product that he's picking up using either image recognition or marker technology and give him the green light or an orange light um, he can ask for additional information so this particular um, <laughs> choice here is a particularly good choice given his personal criteria. Some of you may want the toilet paper with the most bleach in it rather than the most ecologically <laughs> responsible choice. Um, but <laughs> if he picks up a book in the bookstore, he can get the Amazon rating that's projected right on the cover of the book. This is uh, Guan's book card preview speaker, um, which gets a great rating, by the way, at Amazon. And so Pranav turns the page of the book and can then see additional information about the book. अगर आप इसके अंदर देखें दो आप हमने बात की थी मल्टी मॉडल इंटरफेस की और मल्टी डिवाइस इंटरफेस की इसमें आप देखें आपकी वेरेबल कंप्यूटिंग बिकॉज द कंप्यूटर आई एम वेयरिंग एज वेल एज माई जेस्टर्स आर बींग कम्बाइंड एंड अगेन यू नो वट आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू कि ये हम पंद्रह साल पहले पुरानी बातें कर रहे हैं तो बहुत आगे निकल गए सो वन एवर यू थिंक अबाउट वॉट इज पॉसिबल इन द फ्यूचर डोंट जस्ट इग्नोर इट कि मेरी जिंदगी में होने वाला नहीं है सब कुछ आपकी जिंदगी में होने वाला बहुत कुछ दैट्स एक्सट्रीमली उसमें देखें न्यूज पेपर आप देख रहे हैं उसके बाद लेट्स लेट मी गिव यू एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ दिस वन विच इज इवन मोर रेलिवेंट टू अस एंड वे मूविंग नाउ टू वर्ड्स बी सी आई Uh, circuits uh, that are printed on temporary tattoo film, just like you know, the you, know, you can just buy commercially. That's used for kind of a children's uh, tattoo. The way that we use this tattoo film is we print um, circuits made of silver nanoparticles, and then what we do is we coat those silver nanoparticles with a liquid metal alloy, and the liquid metal fuses with the silver to create these conductive wires on the tattoo. The tattoo can easily be transferred to skin. Uh, and the connectivity is high enough to support uh, digital circuit functionality. The circuit uh, remains functional even as it, is, as it stretches. So we would use uh, an electronic tattoo uh, to create circuits that could go on the body uh, to power any types of devices that you want mounted to your skin. One example could be a, uh, a touch interface uh, that would augment any kind of wearable electronic or, or personal electronic device uh, that you could have. It could Uh, also uh, be used uh, to wire up a um, accelerometer that could track your body weight. Electronic tattoos, like the one that we developed, could be used for applications in healthcare. It could be used for uh, physiological uh, monitoring. Uh, it could be used for gaming uh, or pretty much any other application where you want electronics that either kind of track your motion or can measure your vitals. That would be an intimate contact with your skin, just like any other temporary tattoo. It is there. It is happening. The two also topics: emotions and HCI, and we are in HCI. I'm not just discussing today, but I'll get back to them because they're part of effective computing and wearable computing uh, paradigm. So I just want to show you quickly one thing. 
This is some of the predictions. We have come a long way, right? So, in one of the in one of the areas, you know, when we, when we talk about uh, future of computing, it is fundamental to talk about history of computing, because if you can't see that, there is no way that you can look into the future. You know, so when you, whenever you want to think about application of what we are talking in this course, that all will start making sense. And I have a funny video also, okay, maybe apne prediction kya hogi? Oh, there is this video. And can you relate this video with brain computer interface? Just think about it. Brain-computer interface. Huh? Can you replace that? Can you think of it? What is video you have shown in BCI? What can BCI potentially? Invisible. What does it mean? You have seen a very complex interaction where a DJ is playing and changing music. You have seen a very complex interaction where using my toe and moving around. You've seen a very complex interaction in so many different areas. What happens in the case of BCI, for example? It, it could be this magical, invisible, which means you can co control computers with your thoughts. So actually, you don't need this. You just think, and you just move on. You think, you have music, and then music is played. You think, I'm just, I'm just thinking, right? We'll, we'll talk about it. Imagine. So it's that was invisible. You don't need that complexity. Ji. We were shown a lot of different videos. Yeah. A lot of different interfaces. Yes. Yeah. A lot of like beautiful machinery. Yeah. Out there, right? And yeah. this was all like 10, 15 years ago. Yeah. What happened to all of it? That's exact. So everything is there. So you have... Think about uh, tangible interface on, ta on tables. Every second big 
uh, you know, uh, for example, uh, Microsoft started that tab uh, tangible table project, a big table project. And that tangible table project or, 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 or laptop, uh, tabletop computing is everywhere now. You have smart walls, you go to the big screens, you interact with them, you go to the airport, you know which gate is, you go to such a big display, you say that my gate is number 813, you show the path, it happens all the time. Look at voice computing, it's with me now, Siri, all the time. It's, 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 it's now even uh, uh, wearable in a sense because I have my airports, so I don't need to grab my computer, all I do, hello Siri, and nothing, and then I'm able to interact. So all those things which they thought about in, in the last 15, 20 years, they got matured over time. And we are going in that direction. So again, point is that those who are not coming from computing background, sometimes they find these things very fascinating and they don't believe in this, okay, possible I need. And we in the computer science field, because we see these things as a part of our curriculum, as a part of our everyday routine, we don't find them that fascinating because that's how we've been told and grown. But when you are in a, in a class set like this, it is extremely important to know that we are on the same page. When we're envisioning future, we can say it is possible. And we can contribute to that. G. All of these videos you showed yeah. these technologies and interfaces, all of these things are collecting your data. If I get time, I'll, I'll, I have a, I have a, so I have a, I have a couple of slides also on the ethical, uh, you know, side of BCI or any other uh, data computing which we have, uh, and there's a big con concern. And Dr. Sapto, the mark hole me under kuch cheeze laga dete, you know, like khola under dal diya kuch, but ban kar diya. Ab Allah jaane usme kya ho raha, kya nahi ho raha. So it's a big concern ethically. Ye pata chale kuch aur device lagai hui under. <laughs> Tracker lagaya over. Literally, you know, so there are big there are big concerns and we'll talk about it. Gee. Yeah. Like Apple watch data with like people the government and then yeah. Where, yeah, yeah. It's a big concern. They came with the wearable computing concern, a hard a concern. I won't have a phone band out there, like in Kushna Kuchkar out there. Right? So what a concern wahape day one may whatever it doesn't forget it kiapke pass boss smart watch. You know, uh up to you know that in other you don't have smartphones allowed in You know, you have to go back to the battery of the phone, which can be removed from the battery, so that there can be any kind of thing that can be removed from it. This is what we have done with this phone, for a wrong reason, that you can't remove the battery from the phone. Right? And because there is always, always something that is giving power to it. And you imagine, how do you know that your phone has no battery? Because software tells you. And if software tells you, when there is 10% battery that I am going to be off, there is absolutely no access you have to the system to know how much battery is actually used. So you only think in that way. So this is exactly what, where we come in. So in the case of you have, when we think about human-computer interaction, you have a user, you have a user interface, and you have a system, which is a black box. So you don't, as a human being, you interact through this system, through this black box, through different interfaces. You have a black screen, you have a Windows, you can have a Mac. But what is happening inside? You don't care about AMD, hai, Intel, hai, kaunsa kaale dabbe mein kya cheez ho rahe, phone ke kya ho You don't care. Because all you need is an access to the system through these interfaces. Oh boy, Tabarik Saab ko call aari So this is how you think about it. And then the same of mobile computing, right? Aap mein se kitne loong ke bas iPhone hai? Is pe koon si chip hai? Sanu ki pada hai. Right? That's not your problem. Aap ke liye ho black box hai. Uske andar kya aapko concern nahi hai? Aap sif screen ko dekhte hai, interact karte hai. Right? Always keep that in mind. In the case of human-computer interaction, any interaction, what you do, you try to hide the complexity of the system. And you only make those things visible which are fundamental for interaction. Everything else is a black box. And the better the black box, the better the interaction. As an end user, you're not interested in knowing how the system works. So you hide that. And imagine what we can do when we go towards BCI. Red sapiens. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, Sudhani Yuvanwa Harari is a is 
Yeah. Um, um, he's essentially a historian, but he writes uh, about a lot of things. And so a lot of what he says is very speculative. Um, he's of the science is often wrong. I want to start by saying that. So one of the things that he says, which is very true, is that you know we are not very far from an age where the variables are going to know your physiology Be better, better than, than your conscious mind. Yeah. So in many ways, uh, what Dr. Silvan was showing about the computer is true for the human body. Yeah. We are really only aware of things that come up to our attention yeah. or in our conscious mind. There's a whole unconscious, subconscious that is influencing what we are doing, but we are only aware of what you know is coming up to our working memory. Right? So sometimes we're getting angry and physiologically your variable can pick up that you are getting angry. <laughs> It will, there will be a lag before you become aware that you're angry. Yeah. So remember, there is now a potential for that software, which is detecting that you're angry to manipulate your future emotional state. <laughs> right? So pehle hum is is there such a thing as free will? But here, there's a third party that free will to manipulate. People understand what I'm trying to say. So it's made because therapeutic applications we have. जिन लोगों का एंगर मैनेजमेंट इश्यूज है जिन लोगों को दूसरे बंदे की जैसे ऑटिज्म में कई दफा लोग जो है वो अगले बंदे की इमोशन गेज नहीं कर सकते सो मैटर इफ यू आर अ चाइल्ड हु हैज ऑटिज्म एंड आफ्टर डिवाइस है जो कि अगले बंदे का फेस देख के आपको क्यूज दे रहा है कि यार तूने नो होता है अंदर तूने नो तेरी गलती समझ नहीं आती भाई राइट सो वो उसके लिए वो हेल्पफुल है राइट बट इसी तरह से अगर फॉर एग्जांपल किसी लेट्स से किसी पर्सनालिटी डिसऑर्डर में है तो आपको वो कहता है नाउ यू आर पिसिंग दिस पर्सन ऑफ मस्टर Right, so it's my yeah, yeah. And I'll show you some of these examples in the next class also. For example, uh, Abhi, aapne, you told me about this phenomena, I don't know, hyper awareness, what was that? You're just hyper awareness, you know, that you are actually extraordinary awareness aware about your surroundings. And, and I had that feeling for some time that I, I, then I realized that what's going on in the world? And how do we shut down ourselves and we don't pay attention to, and all of a sudden we are hyper aware, you know. चिड़ियाँ भी बोल रही हैं कवे भी बोल रहे हैं पत्ते भी गिर रहे हैं एवरी थिंग लुक्स इज सो मच एंड आर ब्रेन इज सो डैम गुड इन शटिंग एवरी थिंग ऑफ एंड वी जस्ट पे अटेंशन टू आर फ्रेंड एंड गप मारते चले जाते हैं बट इमेजिन दैट उस सब के साथ इतना कुछ और प्रोसेस करना पड़े तो बिल्कुल उड़ जाए जी Yeah, yeah. I'll answer and then I'll get back to you. They can if you ask me as a computer scientist I will have a very different answer. Indeed progress. And that's where we have a class like this where a, a computer scientist may say I love it ki hum ye bana sakte hain. For example, if you ask me when I when I sit in a plane, I I'm just amazed what a human race has done. Matlab imagine kare aap kahan ja rahe hain? Jahan seedha ja raha hai. और आप उड़ते हैं और आप आठ घंटे में या दस घंटे में कहीं और पहुंच जाते हैं चाय भी पी है कॉफी भी पी है लाइफ जस्ट डजेंट चेंज आई एम द टॉप ऑफ इंटरनेट भी चल रहा है मतलब जस्ट आई इमेजिन दैट व्हाट वी हैव डन पैंतीस चालीस हजार के ऊपर जा रहा है जहाज एंड एंड वी जस्ट लैंड सेफली इन द चांसेज दैट वी विल नॉट डाई इज मच मोर देन ऑन अ रोड और ऑन अ बाइसिकल एनी वेयर एल्स जस्ट आमेजिन वट वी हैव अचीव सो फॉर मी दैट फैसिनेट्स So when people complain in a in a in a plane, I just don't like them. I just don't like them. Oh, seat very comfortable, nahi hai. Oh, tum 40,000 foot pe ja rahe ho. Oh, tumhe seat comfortable nahi lagti hai. Oh, first class se banda na ha bhi raha hai. Literally, you know. मतलब ये नहीं वो इतना भी सबर नहीं कर सकता कि मैं land करके ना हालो उसने shower जहाज में लेना. Do you see my point? So you can appreciate things from a very different perspective. But then, all of a sudden, a, you know, a human in you, uh, let's say, as a psychology student, you would come and say, "No, you know, are we really going in the right direction? Do we really need to take a shower in a first class in a plane, or do we really need all these devices?" Then that's where the debate begins, and that's a fundamental debate. That's where the interdisciplinarity of the field comes in, and that's where we need to have a check on what we are doing. Dr. Nasser, the same thing yeah. I was about to say.
good perspectives attached to it. And, and it's, it's, a, it's an aspect of growth, it's an aspect of development, and it's a detriment to your own evolution. But this is the usability, uh, uh, use of that uh, progressive step depends on what you for benefit use kar rahe hai, ya for detriment use. <laughs> yeh, this, is a, this is an ongoing debate. Throughout the ye, ye Harari ki baat kar yeah. Harari ki next book, ki sequel thi, that's Human Deus. Usne Human 2.0 yeah, yeah. Mein likha hai. And ye sari philosophical hai. Ye jo, 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 jo baat kar rahe hai, wo jo aapki gaadi back ho ke, aapki pocket mein aja hai. Isn't that philosophical? <laughs> It all depends on what you make of that. Or you both have that individual hai, and that is why some individuals may think this is right, some may think this is wrong. But us as a society need to have some checks and balances. Yeah. That's where ethics of computing comes. And, and I think we have seen that we have seen that we have seen that we have seen that we have seen doctorate in philosophy. So the idea was that you don't really forget the fundamental part why we exist and why we are progressing and where we are progressing. So what is it that our PhDs and our research have become sometimes too applied and too disconnected that we have seen that we have And that's where people are coming back and saying that engineering alone can solve the problem. Can't. If we really have to go forward, we go. Gigi, please. Do we like on this progress, like there's only it's only called up by a short period of fascination. And after that everyone gets used to it. Like you didn't need it before. And after a while you don't really realize that, you know, it's something that's positively They can agar up technology ko they can so, बहुत दफा ऐसा होता है टेक्नोलॉजी जिस मकसद के लिए बनती है उसके लिए इस्तेमाल नहीं होती उसका कहीं और बहुत बेहतरीन इस्तेमाल हो जाता है चाहे आप मटेरियल साइंस में देखें चाहे आप मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग में देखें चाहे आप कंप्यूटर साइंस में देखें चाहे आप जेनेटिक्स में कहीं भी देखें उसका हर कहीं और इस्तेमाल हो जाता है सो आई थिंक एज यू नो वी नीड टू पुश एंड नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्ल्ड वी नीड टू मेक थिंग्स बट उसका इस्तेमाल क्या होगा उसके लिए ऑफ कोर्स सोसाइटी में लार्जर डिबेट चाहिए बहुत बड़ी एग्जांपल आपके पास चैट जीडीपी है राइट उसके ऊपर सुबह शाम अब सुबह शाम लोग बात कर रहे हैं और बच्चे दुनिया का जबरदस्त काम कर रहे हैं ठीक है एंड उसके ऊपर बहुत बड़े एथिकल सवाल भी उठाए जा रहे हैं कि अगर आप उसमें से कोड निकालते हैं तो किसकी जिम्मेदारी ये बताना कि कोड मेरे से आया फॉर एग्जांपल सो अगेन यू नो द पॉइंट इज नॉट दैट वी शट एट द डोर एंड से हमने इस रास्ते पे चलना नहीं है द आइडिया इज उस पे चलते हुए हाउ डू वी माइंडफुल एंड हाउ डू वी रियली अंडरस्टैंड कि हम ये क्यों कर रहे हैं जी Yeah. Everything is not bad. This is a 
अब इसको देखें जरा एक मिनट इट्स नॉट अ सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार यू आर कंट्रोलिंग दिस कार विद द हेल्प ऑफ अ मोबाइल फोन ड्रोन कार नहीं है इन पीपल वर फैसिनेटेड कि हमने वाईफाई से गाड़ी चला ली अमेजिंग यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ बर्लिन के अंदर पीपल वर फैसिनेटेड कि यार क्या हो रहा है गाड़ी चल रही है वो मोबाइल फोन से राइट एंड दैट सेट कि इस गुड स्टार्टिंग पॉइंट गाड़ी रेस दें ब्रेक दें सब कुछ चल रहा है बच्चे को बैठाएं छोड़ के आ जाएगी विच इज गुड विच स्कूल Yeah, of course, you know. It's not. But this is like one teenager who's been GTA away from a disaster. Right. Oh, what's this guy like? Okay. So, okay. Okay. So, okay. okay. Look, what did they do? They started with that. They ended up here. So they could not start with this one. it takes time it's a journey so you had all the hardware ready which could be controlled through a mobile phone and they said what else eeg lagate hain if their hardware was not there it was no way you can do this thing Just by thinking two different things, you can control a computer. In our first experiment, the test subject used the sensor cap to give commands to our autonomous car. The car is equipped with video cameras, radar, and laser sensors that provide the car with a full three-dimensional view of its surroundings. The car drives automatically to the point. At the intersection, the test subject orders the car to take a right. The car continues automatically. The small frame on the upper right shows the laser sensor reading. The frame in the lower right shows the brake command for the car. After a small delay, the car turns around the corner as you can see. For a second experiment, we train the computer to recognize So, is it cool ya abhi bhi nahi baat nahi banti? Nahi. I think it's very cool. I think हमें we are speaking from a point of privilege के अगर हम इसका implementation किसी paralyzed इंसान की life पे देखे तो I think it's revolutionary. हम एक classroom में बैठ के with all our body parts in place हम सोच रहे हैं so I don't think we need to think. Autonomous car में डालो पता है. It's cool with the stereo. But there is always something else you can do with it. But there is a starting point ना. देखें मैं मेरा आप आप बात करें मैं आपको बताता हूँ मैं दिखाना क्या चाह रहा था इससे जी वो कब या या ऑन नहीं नहीं आप आप ये ये नॉट नहीं नहीं आप बात नहीं समझ रहे हैं देखें द पॉइंट इज दिस इज नॉट द पॉइंट वी टॉकिंग अबाउट हियर द पॉइंट इज दैट यू स्टार्ट दैट यू कैन डू दिस यू कैन डू दिस यू नो एंड अगेन द एप्रिसिएशन दैट टेक्नोलॉजी इज देयर दैट यू कैन डू दिस वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट दैट वी हैव परफेक्ट टेक्नोलॉजी बट वी हैव we were able to do it and if you're able to do it you think what is the best use of it ye parnab mistri jiski bhi unhone dikhai hai jo tasveerein khinch raha tha he started by 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 disassembling wo roller wala house nahi hota tha uske andar choti choti motors lagi hui hain unse and and second point main aapko dikhana batana hi ja raha tha again i'm i'm wearing a pure computer science hat here right important cheez aapke liye kya hai ki you have to make your operators ready अगर आपके पास वो गाड़ी ना हो आप उसके सेकंड स्टेज पे नहीं जा सकते इज अ होल प्रोसेस आप पहली चीज अगर आपके पास रॉकेट नहीं है तो मार्स पे जाना मुश्किल काम है 
जितना मर्जी रोबर शोवर बना लें सब कुछ कर लें जिसने प्रोपेलर नहीं है आप स्पेस बाहर नहीं जा सकते आगे नहीं कर सकते उस पॉइंट इज के वन यू थिंक ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी यू थिंक ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेप्स इट टेक्स टू गो टू अ पॉइंट वेर इट इज़ यूजबल फॉर मैनी अदर कॉन्टेक्स एंड दे आर मैनी मैनी अपलिकेशन जी अलगे थोड़ा ऊंचा बोले यार वर्क की बात वाज पॉइंटिंग टू आई थिंक वाज एम्पलीफाइंग इफेक्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी रादर देन एडिटिव वन इट इज अ दिस इज अ ह्यूज कंसर्न इन द आईसीटी डेवलपमेंट फील्ड एज़ वेल वेयर दिस इज अ टेक्नोलॉजी कैन नॉट सब्स्टिट्यूट फॉर मिसिंग इंस्टीट्यूशनल कैपेसिटी एंड ह्यूमन इंटेंट एंड आल्सो टेक्नोलॉजी टेंड्स टू एम्पलीफाई एग्जिस्टिंग इनइक्वालिटीज यार देखिए आईसीटी फॉर डी की तरफ चले गए तो अब बात बिल्कुल कहीं और निकल जाएगी राइट right? so it it is not the the socio economic uh, ka masla we're not talking about societal issues we're not talking about that and it's not really the difference jab abhi aap baat kar rahe hain amplification ki and uh, and replacement ki and and the basic need ki and and how it actually hurts and affect inclusion ki i think wo bilkul mere khayal mein different debate hai what we're trying to say here uh, what we're trying to say here that technologically what is possible How can we do that for good in stage टू ठीक है हम और ये हम बिल्कुल ये नहीं कह रहे हैं कि आपने टेक्नोलॉजी डिजाइन फॉर 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 नेगेटिव के लिए की है यू नो लेट्स टेक इट इज अ न्यूट्रल टेक्नोलॉजी एंड देन सी वट कैन बी डन जी सीटिंग use something you first have to figure out if you can even make it happen yeah once you've done that then you can decide whether or not you can conceivably use this and what use cases there are for it i'm a biologist by yeah. heart sure even before we start to try and do something we have to think about why we're doing it what purpose is it serving because there's a lot of stuff in the biological world there's many technologies that you can use there's crispr you can make genetic modifications you understand the genome well enough you can design human beings but we don't do it just because we can we have to think no 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 it, it's not i i i don't think so no no it's, it's i think it's a very uh, it's a, it would be an unfair thing to to say that engineers and computer scientists would not think about these things you know so ji ji yeah ji just the fact that you can engineer a human being using genetic engineering yeah. still does not preclude growth and progress in genetic engineering because up wo direction nahi lete but you still work on genetic engineering to cure diseases that is so fine. technology huh. per se is not good or bad but the thing is is that hypothetically mm-hmm. we can do it yes but uska ye matlab yeah. from an engineering standpoint yeah. to use that idea we would have to do it first and no 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 that's two ways yeah. to grow yeah There are two approaches to growth. One is bottoms up, and the other one is top down. Biology main top down approach is a safer approach. You need to identify a problem, yeah. and then figure out backwards how to solve it. Engineering main every step is built on the previous steps. So usme bottoms up approach hai. Aapki pehle basic electronics develop hogi, to aap computer bana sakoge. Just because ye bottoms up approach hai does not mean कि आप उसमें से डर ये है कि वो खतरनाक एटम बम बन जाएगा तो आप बनाना ही छोड़ दो यस यू शुड हैव रूल्स यू शुड हैव चेक्स एंड बैलेंसेस कि आप उस डायरेक्शन में ना जाओ ये स्टेम सेल रिसर्च स्टार्टेड विद यूजिंग स्टेम सेल्स फ्रॉम अबॉर्टेड फीटस स्टेम सेल इस वक्त हर उस डिजेनेटिव डिजीज के लिए यूज हो रहे हैं अगर उस वक्त हम उसको खत्म कर देते कि ये में से स्टेम सेल ले रहे हैं तो वो ग्रोथ वहीं पर रुक जाती है अब स्टेम सेल्स फाइब्रोप्लास्ट से भी बन रहे हैं अब स्टेम सेल्स चीक सेल से भी बन रहे हैं बिकॉज उनकी डिफ्रेंसिएशन को रिवर्ट करके दे आर मेकिंग स्टेम सेल्स फॉर that there are genetic disorders which make a toxic gain of function that does everybody understand what toxic gain of function is ki aapko jo genetic diseases hai wo single gene disorders hote hain jisme ek gene kharab hoti hai aur do tarah se aap disease kar sakte ho ya loss of critical function hota hai jis jo chahiye hoti hai wo nahi banti ya aap ek koi bahut zyada ban jate hain jo toxic gain of function hota hai jisme aapke access ban jata hai 
जो लॉस ऑफ फंक्शन वाली चीजें उनको छोड़ दो इस वक्त बिकॉज उनमें और कॉम्प्लिकेशन होती है टॉक्सिक गेन ऑफ फंक्शन प्रिंसिपल इज वेरी इजी राइट जाओ उस जीन को क्रिच कर दो वो चीज नहीं बनेगी आप ठीक हो जाओ राइट सो आपने बना ली टेक्नोलॉजी अब कल को फर्ज करो अगर जैसे हाइपोथेटिकल कि आप फिगर आउट करते हो कि यार पूरे चीन में रेजिस्टेंस टू एक सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ थॉट हो जो है वो ये चीन अगर आप थॉट कर दो तो सारी जो रेजिस्टेंस टू न्यू आइडियाज है वो खत्म हो जाती है एंड यू हैव अ वे टू गो इन एंड आप किसी यू नो जो 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 अभी जो सारी कंस्पिरसी थेरीज हैं कि जो सारी दुनिया को कोविड की वैक्सीन जो लगाई गई है वो बिल गेट्स जो है वो सारी दुनिया के कंट्रोल करना चाहता है आई मीन दैट्स बी एस ऑब्वियसली बट इट इज अ दिस अ वे कि आप किसी कोई चीज जो कि हर पानी में मिला दो आप यू नो किसी चाइल्डहुड वैक्सीन में वो डाल दो तो आई मीन अगर आप वो टेक्नोलॉजी बनाओ ना आप वो दूसरी चीज नहीं की जा सकती सो डू यू नॉट देन डू दैट बिकॉज़ उसका ये कॉन्सिक्वेंस होता है देखें it's both top down and bottom up you know aapne mars pe jana hai it's very top down you need a specific technology in a specific way done for a specific purpose and you'll do that but bottom up is that you are actually pushing the limit ki agar humne let's say ek behtar chip bana liye mazid behtar kaise bana sakte hain mazid kaise behtar kar sakte hain and that's how computing computing ke dimag mein kabhi aaj se 60 saal pehle ye nahi tha ki humne aisa iphone banane mein ye chip lage no it was a very gradual and procedural thing आपने ये किया आपने कहा अच्छा और बेहतर भी कर सकते हैं और बेहतर भी कर सकते हैं अब नया मटेरियल आगे कुछ और कर सकते हैं सो आई थिंक दट वी इट डजेंट रियली मैटर कि चाहे आप शेडो थेरी की बात कर रहे हैं इन साइकोलॉजी चाहे आप यू नो स्टेम की बात कर रहे हैं इन द केस ऑफ यू नो बायोलॉजी के अंदर या आप इंजीनियरिंग के अंदर खास किस्म के मटेरियल की बात करते हैं ठीक है जिसको आप इनहेल कर सकते हैं डाइजेस्ट कर सकते हैं आई थिंक द बात वही है आप ऑफकोर्स इंटेंशन क्या है आप किस इंटेंशन से जा कर रहे हैं और आगे करते रहे You know, it it, it doesn't really dif- subject. Yeah, you know, your discipline doesn't make a difference in my opinion. An ethical framework has to guide that. वो कभी miss नहीं होता. चाहे आपने theoretical काम करना, चाहे आपने practical काम करना. जी. And then I come to you. Yeah, that's I don't know. That's a million dollar question. And that has been the biggest problem. आपने देखा होगा कि एक open AI के साथ एक पूरे का पूरा 300 सौ जो साइंटिस्ट ने लेटर लिखा कि यू नो आप जा कहाँ रहे हैं आपके रोबोट्स कर क्या रहे हैं आपका ए आई कर क्या रही है देखिए आपको छोटी सी एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ मैं बिकॉज इट इज़ सो प्रेवलेंट एंड इट्स जस्ट सो बिकटस एंड प्रोवेजिव दैट वी डोंट पे अटेंशन जब आप अमेजोन पर जाते हैं और आपको रिकमेंडेशन मिलती है आप आपको पता है वो कितनी बड़ी साइंस है वो रिकमेंडेशन वी जस्ट डोंट पे अटेंशन टू दैट एक दफ़ा अब आप कुछ बहुत पुरानी बात है आई आई यूज टेल दिस स्टोरी ऑल्स इन द इन एच सी आई क्लास मैं मार्केट में गया uh, उसमें मार्केट के अंदर मेरे uh, चार पांच किताबें नहीं आई हुई थी टॉप टेन के अंदर वो पांच दस किताबें पढ़ी में से पांच वो पढ़ी हुई थी एंड आई आई लुक्ट एट दोज बुक्स एंड आई यू नो दे वर लाइक उसी वीक की रिलीज में थी एंड आई हैड नॉट विजिट अमेजॉन इन द लास्ट लेट्स ए मंथ और सो एंड आई आई यूज अमेजॉन फॉर एवरी so amazon amazon knows about me much better than i know about myself right uh unko pata hai ki main uh, uh, pampers bhi khareedta hu aur pen bhi khareedta hu aur cards bhi leta pata nahi whatever you know so i what i did actually i picked two of the books out of 10 books jo us mahine mein release hui thi uh, uh, publish hui thi i bought i came home and do ek din ke baad maine amazon khola and then i went to the books page and jo panch mein jo teen kitabein samne se dikhai wohi thi main khareed chuka tha It is not a coincidence. Amazon को अगर मैंने उसे सौ किताबें खरीदी हैं दे नो माई टेस्ट सो डैम वेल सो इट इज ऑलरेडी देर यू नो जो प्रजुएजन है जब आपका ख्याल आप काउंटर पर खड़े होते हैं और सामने आपके पास चॉकलेट्स पड़ी होती हैं वो ऐसे ही आ गई हैं वहाँ पड़ी हुई आप कहते हैं यहाँ पर बीस रुपए की और ले लेते हैं इट्स बाई डिज़ाइन चेकआउट के ऊपर वो सब कुछ पड़ा होना पूरे का पूरा काउंटर का डिज़ाइन इस जो होता है कि आपने क्या खरीदना है इट्स ऑल प्रजुएजन इस ऑल फॉर मेकिंग प्रॉफिट दिस होल आइडिया बाई के आपकी तीन आइटम्स रह गई हैं वेबसाइट के ऊपर दो आइटम्स रह गई हैं इट्स ऑल प्रजोजन भागो दौड़ो चीज़ खरीदो इट्स ऑल देयर 
तो पूरे का पूरा डिस्ट्रैक्शन वी आर लिविंग इन द इकोनॉमी ऑफ डिस्ट्रैक्शन द मोर यू कैन डिस्ट्रैक्ट द मोर मनी यू कैन अर्न इट्स ऑल देयर तो हम तो ये जो बी के ऊपर जब जाते हैं और बात करते हैं कि ये तबाही आ जाएगी सब कुछ आ जाएगा द मोस्ट प्रेशियस थिंग फॉर ह्यूम वन ऑफ द मोस्ट प्रेशियस थिंग्स वॉज आर अटेंशन आर फोकस और हमने इसको बिल्कुल तबाह करके रख दिए और उसकी जो वैल्यू उसके मुकाबले में ये बी सी आई ब्रेन शेन तो कुछ भी नहीं उसके आगे द मोस्ट फंडामेंटल थिंग हमारे पास क्या थी वो एबल टू फोकस एंड डू समथिंग एंड फोकस ऑन आर सेल्स ऑल्सो सो इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट टू ग्रो वट यू वॉन्ट टू डू यू वॉन्ट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू अंडरस्टैंड योर सेल्फ एबल टू रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन योर सेल्फ एंड दैट्स द फर्स्ट थिंग देव टेकन अवे फ्रॉम अस सो वो जो बातें कर रही हैं देर ऑल देयर इट्स जस्ट दैट वी आर नॉट यू नो ये वो कि बड़ी हो जाती है ना विजिबल हो जाती है पता नहीं क्या हो गया और रोबोट्स आगे दुनिया में कब्जा कर लेंगे द कब्जा हैज ऑलरेडी बीन डन यू नो अ पार्ट ऑफ इट जी सर आपने बिग डाटा लर्निंग की बात की कि हाउ एमेजॉन वाज एबल टू प्रेडिक्ट व्हाट यू वांट तो आज मैं देखता हूं लाइक इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट समथिंग विद माय फ्रेंड और समथिंग फॉर एग्जांपल बाइंग अ सर्टेन नंबर सो आई व्हेन आई विल गो ऑन इंस्टाग्राम और फेसबुक आई विल गेट अ कांस्टेंट ऐड सर सो हाउ इज दैट लाइक एंड यू टॉक अबाउट the thing where we can't take out the batteries of our phone and something is constantly working in the background so how does that work are they using like our microphone or like how is that we don't have I I have no doubt Pegasus level ki technology yeah why the Pegasus do the way is it technology on me i think ye matlab yeah thoda sa i don't know but it's it's uncanny देखे and also when you think about something and then you see that thing the chances are you would think that it came because of you thought about it also very high right you see yeah 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 exactly you know you see what you want to see actually you know wo bhi ek uska effect bhi hai but yeah so they have done a very good job let's just accept it matlab agar aap din mein 20 minute facebook istemal karte hain aur aap ye kaam 6 mahine karte rehte hain you're done I can tell you as a data scientist I can tell you you know as an engineer that ab hame jitna pata lagana tha laga chuke hain aapke friends ka pata hai aapne kya like dislike kiya uska pata hai aapne kya cheez share reshare ki uska pata hai koi rocket science nahi pata lagana ki aap aap kya soch rahe hain kya kar rahe hain so uski to ethical framework ki duniya aur hai so yahan pe main aapko dikhana ye cha raha tha that was my second last slide uh, and then I'll I'll take it forward in the next lecture wo ye ke uh, ye आपको अगर गाड़ी चलाना पसंद नहीं था तो मैंने कहा ड्रोन उड़ा दे <laughs> तो मैंने कहा आपको ड्रोन उड़ा के दिखाएं ब्रेन का कंप्यूटर इंटरफेस से सो ये ड्रोन उड़ा जी या अगर पायलट सो गया है अगर पायलट सो गया है तो उसने झटका मार देना इसको उड़ जा देर अ लॉट ऑफ गुड यूज ऑफ दिस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड विल विल टॉक अबाउट इट इन द नेक्स्ट टाइम बट समटाइम्स आई रियली वांट टू आई रियली वांट टू फॉरगेट देयर इज एनी ह्यूमैनिटी एंड आई जस्ट वांट टू बी एन इंजीनियर एंड आई लव दैट इन माय हार्ट यू नो आई आई लाइक साइकोलॉजी सम ऑफ यू नो मी वेरी वेल बट समटाइम्स एज एन इंजीनियर यू जस्ट लव बीइंग एन इंजीनियर because you can make these things it's just nice dekhe even if you're not an engineer you want to be an engineer yeah exactly so my my so bci i'll 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 close in in the last two minutes is a brain computer interface provides a direct communication link between the brain and the computer or other external devices right so it's computer or anything else because drone was not really a computer but it was an external device they offer an extended degree of freedom you know either by strengthening or by substituting human peripheral working capacity and they can be used for rehab effective computing robot robots gaming and neuroscience and rehab mein aap dekhenge agli class mein iska bahut zabardast kaam hai 
यानी यू विल बी अमेज के यार and you will say ke yaar if i have funding i'll actually invest in this project because you can make people live a very happy healthy life right so it's a bridge between your brain and external device and and i want to leave you uh with this question imagine if your manager could know whether you actually paid attention in your last zoom meeting <laughs> imagine imagine if you could prepare your next presentation by using only your thoughts Imagine if your friend knows that you are lying, and imagine the, all these scenarios might be might become reality thanks to BCI. And this will happen. So you're going to live in that world. Either start contributing to it, or go to politics and make sure that they don't get access to this. There is no other way. G. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I, Doctor Nasser, I, I watched the Black Mirror, I watched the first episode, and I could not for maybe months I could not watch the second one because I just like I just thought, yeah, who can I? And then you know, this is actually, and you are the one who are actually making these things. Shut up, you know, like calm down, <laughs> you know. So I, I completely see some of the points you have raised here, but the, the, you know, you need to know these things. You need to know that what is possible. Only then you can do something about it. Because the yeah. best part of us presenting this together is that we have to see multi perspectives in yeah. this problem. And the good thing about this is that we are actually uh, doing what we set out to do to, you know, peak your minds to to make you think. Ethical questions to bohat zada hai, yeah. which is. Probably beyond the scope of yeah. our, our, our course, because yeah. it was a very big course in itself. But, but everything that you have learned so far has an ethical aspect, yeah. and it's still under debate. Nothing has been resolved yet. So and, we need and to when keep was, thinking about everything that we do. No, but when was it not? You know, a, asking a very basic philosophical question. You know, and you say that just doesn't mean that you can think. You should think. Right, so before we didn't uh, used to think about these things so yeah, frequently. Yeah. Now technology is forcing us to think about these things. Because we have, we are on it. So many artificial blanket is put on us that we need to really. But the pace is just unimaginable. unimaginable. You know, like we have. You have history. Look, you know, just imagine that in 1930, where we were standing, and from there, we made progress. And from there, we made progress. दो हजार दस में कहाँ पे आए देन वी लुक एट टू ट्वेंटी टेन एंड ट्वेंटी हो क्या गया सो जस्ट कंपेयर दो सेवेंटी ईयर्स वो लगता है ये वो एक साल की प्रोग्रेस के बराबर है या छः महीने की या दो महीने की सो द पेस इज जस्ट अनइमेजिनेबल एंड आई थिंक दैट्स वॉट वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड ऑल्सो एंड यू गाइज नीज टू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू दैट एंड एंड यू विल बी यूजिंग दीज डिवाइस यू विल बी यूजिंग दीज डिवाइस फॉर दिस एंड मेकिंग एंड एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग हाउ पीपल डिसाइड विल स्टॉप हेयर जी वो ऑलरेडी ऑन थैंक यू वेरी मच विल सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक